2006, I had uh, surgery for colon cancer and um, recovered quite well from that. Um, this year, I went into hospital for some uh, remedial work on a, a, a hernia and uh, unfortunately, the, the surgery needed to have remedial work and, uh, and a second lot. So uh, that was my experience. It was straightforward. The instructions were clear, and um, I had the usual preparation to uh, empty my inside so that I'd be nice and clean and ready for the uh, for the operation. Can you tell us something about the preload? What we asked you to do with it? <laughs> yeah, I, I have bad memories of fleet. Uh, he, for the first operation, mm. but um, the second one wasn't not so bad, and it, it did the uh, the thing that it was meant to do. Okay. And again, um, just following the instructions, very easy. Yeah, yes. Okay. The, the night before I was uh, admitted for surgery, I, I came in for a, an injection, which was the collecting injection, which uh, was not at all um, problematic to me at all. Yeah, I, I was uh, given the opportunity to eat uh, something at 3 a.m. in the morning, but uh, I declined that and opted for sleep. <laughs> when I came into hospital for, for surgery, um, there, there was a busyness about the day, but uh, everything seemed uh, in good order. I saw the anaesthetist who questioned me at length, and um, I felt that everything was being done as should be. I didn't feel rushed, I didn't feel harassed in any way, and neither did I feel anxious, which you know sometimes people do feel mm. with, with operations. But uh, having been in the hands of the hospital before, it was not on familiar ground. Yes. After surgery, uh, I remember coming around in the recovery room, first of all, and felt extremely woozy for a good hour or so afterwards, and then gradually back on the ward, I uh, uh, just recovered and uh, felt very comfortable. I had no pain and uh, no discomfort to talk of at that stage. Mm. I don't think I did have any nausea or any after effects at all. It was just a peaceful coming around from the anaesthesia, I think. Yeah. Certainly, yes, on the day of the surgery, I had something to eat, I remember, yeah. I didn't have a catheter, and I was relieved for that. <music> Following surgery, the day after and the days that followed, uh, I was encouraged to get out of bed and move as this would aid uh, my recovery. Um, although I was eating, I wasn't relishing food, and um, it wasn't long before the, uh, the stoma was working, um, but slowly, because uh, four days later I needed to go back for more surgery. But um, the encouragement I got to eat and to, and to exercise was good, because the more I exercised, the better I felt. Pain-wise, um, that was kept under control, I have no bad memories of bad pain, so that was good. On the day of discharge, it was like ending of a sentence for me. I'd been in hospital quite a long time. Um, everybody was very careful to make sure I had all that I needed for uh, returning home. I felt happy about returning home and glad to be on my way. Um, advice was given, medication was supplied, and uh, I felt uh, fairly confident to go home and with the, um, the rider that if anything did go wrong, I could uh, return to the hospital, to return to the ward. So that was good. The first few days at home were um, without any real problems. District nurses came the first day, which was helpful. Uh, I also knew that um, Suzanne would be available to me if I needed her. I got telephone numbers to, uh, to ring. And, uh, and so I had no anxiety in that way whatsoever. My um, uh, big concern was just getting my weight back and eating better. So uh, in every way, the discharge process was good for me. 